everybody, I'm Kaden Flores. Welcome to my show. Today, we have a big idea. Dogs know how to walk. Dogs know how to talk. Wait, dogs don't know how to talk. And some dogs don't know how to walk. Dogs are very hard to train. I have a couple dogs of my own. They always fight for one to get in front of the other. When one dog gets in front of another, then the opposite dog or the smaller dog, or the bigger dog, gets angry. So then they'll cut in front of it. So then the one that was in front of it is in the back now. And they just keep fighting. And they pull the owners. They need to work together as a team to know that if they walk together, it's okay. Would you rather have this? <laughs> this? Slow down, Rocky. Or this? Good dog. Well, comment down below how your dog acts, and then let me show you some tips to get your dogs to work together as a full entire team. So let's get started. Tip number one, the rope tie. Get a leash, it could be any size leash. So this is the leash that I'm using. It's from here to here. And it's for a very small dog, it's very thin. The leash part is very, very thin, but that's okay because you kind of want it to be thin. Just make sure it has one of these clip, um, uh, the things that hook on to the end. What you do for it, and I'll show you how I do it to my dogs. One dog, you're going to put this on it. I would prefer using the more um, smaller dog or the more one that's not likely to kill another dog or something. And so what you do is you put this through the hole of it like this and you pull it halfway through. Then you get the metal part and you put it through the hole like that. And you want to pull it really tight like that so that it's going through the dog. On the other side, on this part, you connect it to the other dog's leash. So then both dogs are fully connected. The first thing that you want to do when you're walking them is walk it very slowly and hold on to the middle of the leash with both of them. They'll get used to it. The more and more they get used to it and walking around your house, do not take them outside or in your backyard to attempt this. Start in the house and then keep moving forward. Then you let go of the leash and just walk forward. Best thing to do is to take deep breaths when you're doing it so they don't freak out and just go. So, let me show you an example how to put it on their um, leashes and how to put it on their collars. Have the dog sit while you're doing it. It's a little bit more easier and it will just make it so much easier. Sit, Delilah. Sit. Lila, sit. Sit down. Sit. Put it down. So you get this side of the loop. Sorry, my dog likes to be in the camera. And then you put it through the hole, like so. Then you get the metal part, and you're gonna put it through the big hole and pull it tightly, like that. So that makes a big knot. Then you get your other dog. and you connect it to his hat. And you don't have to do any loop de loops this time, you just connect it like you normally would. Now, Diesel has a very, very big collar. If you don't believe me, he does. And so I'm gonna connect it on his hat. It's a little bit more easier. So it's like this. So they are connected. Now, once they're connected, you have them sit before you start. Always do this to make it a little bit more easier. So once they're both sitting or laying down like they are, <laughs> or laying against You just 
don't make it hyper and don't say, come on, it's time to go. You should just calmly start, just go outside, but walk around your house. And I'll show you an example of us walking around our house from a couple minutes ago. Ow, Diesel, ow, technical difficulties, ow. Another great tip is once they get really, really good, then you can start to get a vehicle, such as a scooter, bicycle, or whatever, and you can teach them to ride with you along, like so. guys i hope you guys learned a lot don't forget a smaller leash means better thanks for watching guys subscribe comment down below and i'll see you guys later bye